Welcome, loved ones. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you, subscribers, for following, sharing, and liking our videos. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. You can follow Ke Chemistry on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you for being here today with me. I usually don't do videos on Saturdays, but I thought this video was very important uh, to me because I've been having some stuff going on, and I thought I would share this experience with you. Maybe it may help you as well with some of the things that you may have going on in your life. Today, I want to talk about um, crossing and cross conditions and how to know when you uh, are being crossed. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with these cross conditions since I've been healing. All right, so let me dive in here. A cross condition is like a psychic cancer in your life as it slowly eats at you until it kills your soul. Uncrossing is one of the most important areas of, uh, would be the most important areas that you would have to do on your in your spiritual journey. Uncrossing can handle just about any situation you come across in your magical life. Many times it's the only way to help you or another person so you can do it on yourself or you can do it on another person as well that's creating the crossing but this going to make sense as i move on this is the hardest step if you're working for others then the person you're working on will probably fight the removal why because people dislike change generally they will cling to their problem so my family is stuck in this karmic loop so there's a lot of resistance in the family. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of, you know, people cursing me right now. They're upset with me because I've outed the whole family secret. So I'm not caught in that karmic loop. I'm getting myself out of it. And you may be one of these too. But to get any lasting change, you must find a way to extricate them permanently from this sort of thinking. That's the only way to help yourself or another person. So even when, you know, even when that person is causing it, you're going to have to find a way to get them to change the behavior as well. This is going to make more sense the more this is going to make more sense the more I go on with this review, okay? Everyone at some point in their lives will be in a state of cross condition. It may do to be to an actual curse or something that someone has thrown in your direction, which can be in the form of jealousy, an actual spell, vicious gossip, or any other intentional harm to you and disrupt your life. And you'll know when somebody is throwing crosses and, 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 and hexes and, you know, they're just wishing you bad. You know what I'm saying? they just throwing curses. They're just gossiping. It's just vicious stuff. They're just wishing you all types of bad stuff. And you'll know because little appliances and stuff will start to break down. Your car will start to break down. This stuff will start eating at your finances. It, just everywhere you go, it just it just seems like you can't get any results. Even in your, um, your, your spell work. Because how I found out about my situation is I was getting ready to do some uh, altar work. So I thought I would do would release some negativity. And so when I did that altar work, I showed it like I had some blockages going on. I'm like, how's this happening? Because I've been working on myself. You know, it was a lot of blockages. But it also saw, uh, showed a clearing as well. So I was like, I wonder where these blockages and stuff is coming from. And so my daughter was just like, uh, she got to telling me that people in the family were still gossiping about me, that they were still, you know, feeling some type of way because I went no contact, you know, because I can't deal with that, that, that I can't deal with that, you know, you're no longer going to abuse me, keep scapegoating me, blaming me for everything. Everybody needs to deal with their own issues, and that's exactly what I'm doing. You know, I, 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 I can't help how you feel because I outed the family about the family secrets because that's what kept, keeps you in the karmic loop. Somebody has to break the pattern, and I'm no longer finna participate in it and stop trying to pull me into it, you know, and getting angry because I won't participate in this, this, this false reality that you created because it's not real. None of it is true, and I don't want to be pulled back in that, you know. So my daughter was telling me about that. I was like, wow, right after that happened, I asked, you know, I had asked my spirit guys, okay, why, what is going on? I was like, this is what, and she actually called me about a dream that she had about my mother 
because my mother's where I uh, received most of my abuse from. That was my first abuser. And she had a dream about my mother chasing her in a dream. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So, it would, you know, when I asked for that sign, my spirit guides gave me that sign after I did that ritual, that altar work. All right? So, you, you know, if you if you doing the work, spirit is going, you're going to get your answers from spirit. Okay? More often, it is due to trauma of a varied degrees in your life. So, you can be crossed by trauma, too, just like me. So... You could be crossed by trauma as well. So that's why a uncrossing would be good too if you've ever been in an abused relationship and you're trying to do a lot of work on yourself. Uh, you're going to have to do uncrossing because so many things play in that dynamic. Like me right now, I'm doing, I'm doing the work on myself. However, not only do I need to uncross myself, but I got to uncross all this other stuff that's going on, all this gossip and all this stuff that's going on around me, you know, with the family and all that stuff. Because that that I can't get better if they're still gossiping and running their mouth and, you know, all that. You know, and I always been nice. I've been nice about this whole thing. I've been passive. I've tried to keep my serenity and not react and not say anything, you know. But I was just like, I can't take it no more. I'm going to have to put you on the altar because I'm sick of messing with you. I'm tired of being passive about the crap that you do. And you just keep talking smack, keep talking smack, talking smack, talking smack, you know. So I was like, let me just go to my altar and put in this work because I have tried to be nice. You know, I've tried to be passive. And, and I don't like doing people like that. You know, I really don't. But you leave me no other choice but to go ahead and put in that work because you will not shut up. You will not look at yourself. You will not heal yourself. I am not coming back to a dysfunctional family. I'm not doing that. I'm going to get better. I'm not going to get in that, you know. So I had to put in some work. And I'm going to get into that a little bit later. So you guys know what you need to do if this ever happens to you, if you ever need to do an uncrossing. Not all cross conditions are bad. They are put there many times by the spirits of the higher planes to trap you. This is to see if you are worthy to grow in power as a spiritualist or a sorcerer. The weak are taking down all kinds of negative paths to meet their own self-destruction. That is part of the game here on the earth plane. It takes a special person to overcome the blockages in life and grow in power. If it was easy, it would not have any meaning. Only those who meet the challenges set up the spirit and work through them will pass the test and move on. So we're in a spiritual conflict all the time and what i got to say about that and that's that's so true because right after i got through doing this uncrossing work everyone that had gossip about me contacted me you know the spirit showed me okay for instance right after i i did the 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 work to remove negativity my daughter called me okay then when i did the uncrossing start doing the uncrossing ritual other people that was that was you know throwing curses my way, you know contacting me, and I knew it was them because the way they they the conversation was a cross conversation. They became cross with me, and I was like, oh my gosh, trying to provoke me, and I was like, oh my gosh, everybody coming out the root work woodworks when I'm doing this uncrossing, you know, because I wasn't playing. I, I'm getting rid of all of it. I'm getting rid of all of it. I'm not, mm -mm, no, nah, mm -mm. I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of being nice. And this is, and then, you know, I guess this is a part of my healing process too, because usually I, I'm nice, but I'm not taking any more abuse psychically, emotionally, psychologically. I'm not taking any more. I'm not taking any more of that. I'm just going to take you to, I'm going to put it in that word because you need to learn how to shut your mouth, shut your mouth and mind your own business. But let me go on. By being confronted with my uh, with ourselves by a cross condition, we are symbolic symbolically confronted by our own dragon. When you become a hero, you free yourself from karma by defeating the negative and disruptive patterns which cause us to constantly defeat ourselves. Most people are led by their destiny, whereas the hero is free to choose his or her own destiny. Many times, other people are at the root of your problem. Negative and evil people are 
a major part of the population of this world. And if you let one of these people get close to you or influence your life, you will become cross with them or from or from them. If this person is a person you really care about, you should uncross them as well. If it's a person you're not close to, you must stop seeing that person or communicating with them. And so what I found too, when I started doing, when I first went no contact with my narcissistic mother, she got real, real sick because there was no more narcissistic supply for me. I'm no longer supplying any energy to feed this false ego, this karmic loop, you know, this entity that you are entertaining that got you caught up in this karmic loop. I'm not finna, mm -mm, I'm not finna do it. So, uh, she got sick as well, you know, but still talking smack though. Still, still talking smack. I didn't say nothing. You know, I, I didn't say anything until you, you know, you start messing with my daughter. I am not going to have another generation of this going on caught up, caught up in this karmic loop i do not want that for my daughters i do not want that for my family so i knew i had to go in and do that work as much as i didn't want to do it because i'm always being nice you know being passive and maybe this is my lesson too to strengthen myself in these areas so i'm not a pushover where i don't i'm not abused in any form whatsoever so you know, I'm looking at this from a positive point, too. This is very much needed. So uh, I went and I got me. If you ever crossed up, you can get your uncrossing candle. Now, see, this what, and I got me uh, some uncrossing oil. You can make your own oil. I got this from my local uh, metaphysical store. This is called Good Earth Sense Uncrossing. Uh, I activated it and prayed over it myself when I bought it. About this uncrossing candle. This is the candle that I first started off with. And I started doing an egg cleansing with it as well. So if you want to look up egg cleansing. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. That will familiarize you with egg cleansing. But I start. And it wouldn't. It, you know this candle. This candle wouldn't light. I got two uncrossings. One for myself to put on my altar. This candle would not light. At first, it would not light. So I had to start with this candle first. All right. So when I start burning this candle, and as you can see, that is where that's all the negativity right there. Where all the black is. If your candle burns like this, that means it there was a negativity there and it moved out. See how it clears out at the bottom. But that, you know, that was all that gossip, all that crap that they was talking. This is called an uncrossing candle. It got like two brooms in the front of it or something. And I put uncrossing oil on there. And I also used, you know, I also used uh, these black onyx also to increase it. Let me show you how I did it. Yes, so you could. I know that's not very good, but there you go. But I kind of put, I kind of put my, um, Put my stones around here to increase the to increase the the power of the work, cause Aunt Black Onyx, you know, they help absorb negativity. And I had tourmaline. To any dark stone that you have, that's gonna be good for fighting negativity. All dark, you know, if it's black, it's a black stone. More than likely, it's gonna be good for uh, fighting negativity. And I also use my black obsidian uh, stone as well, my uh, black dagger, shaman dagger. I used it as well to increase the power in uh, this uncrossing. That's when I, you know, seemed like everybody started bringing ass out the work, work, uh, woodworks when I started doing this. And I'm just like, uh-huh, I know who you is and I know, how, I know what the next thing I'm finna do to your ass too. I'm not finna play with them no more, you know. And then after I started that one, and it started, you know, looking, flowing really good because I had to do an egg cleansing for like seven days on this candle. I did an egg cleansing every time, and I repeated the 23rd of Psalms. Every time I did this, uh, lit this candle, every time I woke up, I did an egg cleansing on myself. You know, and if you're using eggs out the refrigerator, make sure 
that you take the egg out four hours ahead of time. Don't use it while it's cold. It has to be taken out the refrigerator for at least four hours before you do your egg cleansing. But yeah, I was pulling, and I pulled off a lot of stuff in that egg cleansing. I was pulling off a lot of stuff in that egg cleansing. Then I start doing, I start, I lit this uncrossing candle uh, on my personal altar. As you see, there's nothing in here. It's clear. That is totally clear. You know, and this uncrossing was for my finances and, you know, all that stuff. To bring in luck and all that. And as you see, this is clear. And so my next thing was just like, okay, I did the uncrossing because I couldn't do no work. I couldn't do no road opener work. I couldn't do any of that until I did the uncrossing. You know, that messed me up. When I first did my first ritual and seeing the negativity was there, I knew I couldn't do no more work until I did this work. And that, you know, that kind of ticked me off too because I'm like, these people are crossing me up and I can't do my work and bring in prosperity and bring blessings in my life because these people right here is crossing me up, you know. So after I did this work, I was like, you know what? I don't want it to happen again. You know what I'm saying? Even though I did this, this is a temporary kind of fix because people can start gossiping again. All right. This is just a temporary fix. I've moved, moved it away from me, you know, but now I need to shut it up, you know. So then I had to go do some more work and start shutting people the hell up. So there's processes to this, too. I didn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'll come here. Uh, that'll be another video when I uh, come here and I show you how I shut the asses up because I'm not, uh, uh, you know, I'm not doing it. I had to shut. I already I shut up the family member, but now I'm uh, I need to go on and I need to shut up this other these other people that got this going on. But I need to do it as a group. So I got to figure that out so I can do a shut up thing as a as a group. But yeah. You know, don't let people come for you. I'm learning. Don't let people come for you. Protect yourself spiritually, mentally, emotionally, you know, on all levels. Don't take any type of abuse because I'm not taking any type of abuse. You know, it's over with with that crap. I'm not taking no more. But I thought I would share this with you. Uh, thank you for being here with me today. And I'm probably going to share more videos like this about my uh, altar work and the things that I do, because I've never just really shared what I do um, do my altar work. I never really shared about this. So I'll probably be talking about this a lot more, all right? But I thank y'all for being here with me today. Uh, I appreciate you supporting me. I will leave, leave a link down here so you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.